Nothing like getting distracted. I'm working my strap, a squadron. Oh, here's a here's a cool thing. I am a second serpent lieutenant. I am working towards first serpent lieutenant. Then we get serpent captain. <laughs> We need to go back to Ishgard. I'm just quickly dealing with this. So I'm capped on seals. Alright. So which means I need to get back to our main story quest against the dying of light, which takes us to uh I your story takes place in Ishgard and Dravania. Griffiths and Dravania. Talk to Lucia. The flames are spreading. We must need to begin our investigation immediately. Witnesses must be found. Suspects must be identified. Have you been able to determine the precise locations where the fires were set? Maybe there's a pattern. If there is, we have yet to discern it. Fires have been reported throughout the city, both the pyramids and the foundation. Indeed, given the size of the area affected, I think it's best to divide our forces. Master Alfredo, this was used to alone. I would have you take charge of the investigation and foundation. As you wish. Mayhap Tataru can be of assistance as well. Meaning Essigos and I get me get the pillars. Oh, they'll like me up there. Only question is, will the grizzled old rogue strike an oppose over there be great enough? Tancred, of the science of the same thought. And may I say what a pleasure it is to meet you, my lady. I'll bet. My name's Hilda. The scion, eh? And there I was thinking I found so found a fellow ruffian amongst all the illustrious personages. I will remain here to coordinate the fire quenching effort. If you learn all to the value, but pray inform me immediately. That's all.
Well, we could begin by sifting through job rubble and questioning random passersby. In my experience, every town has at least one individual who can be counted on to know things he or she should. Oh, I, the infamous Lord Emmeline de Fortin. Lover of women and wine, though neither care for him that much. Though neither care for him that much. They say he could gossip for Kishka. It's the sort of fellow I had in mind. Capital suggestion. Yes. He'll be at the Carazier. Most likely, making an effort to be seen. No, effort to be seen. So let's go and see him. That old. It's the white here, Thancred. As a ghost, dearest of all my friends, looking rather glum. Something the matter, old boy? Ah, yes. Ah, ah, it's dreadful. That an off the curious, wouldn't you say? There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it at all. Naturally, we doubled the guard outside the manor, along with many most of the other houses. Can't have the old pile going down in flames after. Oh, in case you're wondering why the hoplon is awash with rest from geese, the lower levels of the vault have been open to those unfortunate souls who have lost their homes. Sir Emmerich's orders, from what I hear, a remarkable man, not even a knife in the ribs can keep him from his duties. Actually, old boy, if you're thinking of questioning the, the refugees, I should be more than happy to accompany you to the hoplon. And while you conduct your inquiries, I would offer words of comfort to the distressed and fondant young lady. Wait a minute. I know what that, that is. You're giving me one of the, one of your looks, aren't you? You do mean injustice, old boy. I will have you know my heart yearns for but one rose, prickly though she may be. I sense you remain convinced. Very well. If it is, it, it will help to prove the purity of my intentions. I shall gracefully rescind my offer of running along and catch those awesome. That was not entirely what I was hoping for. Whose idea was it to come here again? Never mind. Our next step. I suggest we divide our efforts. When you question the refugees in the Hoplong Eskis, I shall investigate the locations where the fires are set. You'd be so good to destroy me, Hilda. You know what? I reckon I would. Can't have you roaming about in a unfamiliar city by your lonesome, can you? You'll get robbed blind and left, sh left shivering in your small clothes. the satchel I saw him kneeling outside the window and then there was smoke everywhere and it was so hot that I can't breathe. breathe I don't remember how I made it out I suppose it was climbed maybe my arm is getting better after all Come, my brothers and sisters, there is food and shelter enough for all in the Basilica. Lone's blessing be upon you, Father. I confess we were not sure if we should come. There were so many unbelievable tales these days. Of the Archbishop and Thermic and the Ravanians. Trust in your heart, brother, and pay no heed to the lies of lesser men. They seek only to lead you astray. 
You work hard as sucker as well, sir. But the temple knights have begun their investigation at last. Good. This madness has gone on far too long. Would that I would do something to aid in your search, but I have duty to these poor souls. Farewell, and may the fury guide your steps. I was when the first time to be claimed and I didn't see how the fire began. It was only when I heard our neighbors shouting and I looked outside and saw the flames. We barely escaped with the clothes on our back. Were it not for the church's generosity, I don't know what we'd do. Ah, there you are. Anything to share? Hmm. You will require more than a muddled testimony of a traumatized girl, but we are, are to it. If we are to identify the culprit, while you were questioning the refugees, we inspected the scenes of several of the fires, including one near uh, Saint Raymond's Cathedral and another near the tribunal. For mercy, neither structure suffered significant damage. Some might say they were spared by the grace of the fury. Others might question how such ruthlessly efficient arsonists contrived to fail so miserably on the two occasions when their target was a bastion of Ishgardian orthodoxy. Nothing conclusive, of course, but it does give me cause to wonder how Fano will be doubtless have to be. Silence will avail you not, sir. Oh, Eskos, I was about to summon you. As you see, we have detained a suspect. We found this man loitering near the remains of one of the stricken buildings. According to eyewitnesses, he also was present before the fires broke out. He wished to have words. He did not. He insisted. Let me go, damn it! You got the wrong man. Right, aren't you regal? None of those burns on your hands. No occupational hazard, I suppose. But tell me, has Arson paid well? I'm, I'm a victim, you imbecile. Look at me. Aye, that you are, after a fashion. We know that your pious patron was already spun as a delightful yarn. Thus, as a delightful yarn about how his pet mongrel was slipped the leash and set about burning half the city to the ground. Not, not very noble of him, I grant you, but then these highborn types rarely do show with the pet. In fact, he called you rabbit. I guess put you down. That, that's bollocks. He's the one that told me to keep going. Even a sinner such as me could find salvation in the Fury's work, he said. I left it behind. Tr 
tried to with all my heart. He would say my prayers every day like a good man, but he came to me. He came to me. And there you have it, Hilda. Would you be so kind to escort our friend here to the congregation? Hi. As long as you don't mind if he's limping when he gets there. That was incredible, Lancred. But how did you know he would confess? Well, I've seen this, his life before. I'm so manipulated by men of power and wielded as a weapon. I could not be certain, of course, but given the stakes, I thought it worth the risk. Our captain had called your bluff. Must we entertain hypotheticals? The world is as vexing enough. Thank you, Thancred. Whether by luck or judgment, we we have at the last confirmed that these arsons are orchestrated by a person or persons of influence. I think it best that we now return to the congregation and discuss our best to keep. On behalf of the Holy Seed of Ishkar, I thank you all. The man you apprehended is being interrogated, though he fell silent upon realizing that we have not turned, he has not turned his master. And he will soon tell us what he knows, no one way or another. Pardon the intrusion, Mr. Commander. Ah, Lord Artveria. Are you... Are you come to see your father? He is attending Sir Emmert in his chambers. Up. I am. I bid him. Bid, he bid me to bring this out. And do not let me deceive you, and thank you for your time this morning. Times of trouble, every man must do their part. With that, I would do. My lord, after all, did not seem to be in the best of spirit. It's no wonder, Master Alf, now his father is widely slandered and his half brother not yet cold in his grave. Who's here is not one to rest over long. I do not mean to diminish our accomplishments, but until we identify the ones who ordered the fires set, our work is far from finished. Between the various conservative and religious factions in Ishgard, I dare say there's no shortage of parties who would like to see the status quo preserved. Do any likely suspects spring to mind? Far too many to count. Lord Commander, your wounds... ...are healing well. Thank you. Time is of the essence. Lest we forget, these men would sooner put their own city to the torch than see it change. When our enemies learn that we have apprehended their arsonist, there is no telling how they will react. Hm. 
Look, Amanda! An armed mob has seized control of the vault! And now we know. Tell us what happened, sir. Spare no detail. We were directing refugees into the Basilica, as you ordered, when all of a sudden, men brandishing weapons were all around us. It happened so fast, my lord. We had no time to respond. They've taken the refugees hostage and barricaded themselves inside the vault. And they sent you to deliver their demands? They, the true brothers of the faith, demand that a conclave to select the next archbishop be held forthwith. Furthermore, they... They declare that you, Lord Commander, are guilty of patricide and high treason, and that you must surrender yourself at once to receive of the Fury's judgment. Ridiculous! I mean, do they honestly think that executing Sir Emmerich would change anything? That the truth will somehow die with him? These fundamentalists rage against the passing of the old ways. Unable to accept there can be no going back. Given the fanciful nature of their demands, a peaceful resolution does not seem likely. If the hostages are to be rescued, it will be by force, I fear. Agreed. Lucia, take a contingent of knights and establish a perimeter outside the entrance. At once, Lord Commander. Hilda, I need your people out in force throughout the broom. When word spreads of the situation, the friends and family of the hostages may try to take matters into their own hands. I will not give these militants more targets. I shall lead the assault on the vault. Master Alphano, can I count on the support of the Scions? Of course. We are in your debt. I shall join you as well, Lord Commander. Your assistance is most welcome, Lord Atwarel. To arms then, friends. Time is against us. Darren Deer Marriage. Samuel, we will enter the Basilica silently via the escape. According to our latest reports, there are at least six hostages being held within. The numbers and readiness of the true brothers of faith are unknown. I am told one claimed to have served under Thor in the twelfth or the seventh. May the same be rest. Same, might the same be true of the rest? Even the swiftness of which they seize control of the vault, they think it highly likely, yes which means they may well possess the knowledge or to, uh, to turn the building's defenses against us. Be that as it may, we have no choice but to press on. Lord Otto, you are a brave man and true, and none would dare question your honor if you chose not to risk your life in this endeavor. Are you certain you wish to join us? I am no stranger to the battlefield, Sir Emmerich. My arm will not falter, my shield will not break. Alone as my witness, we will bring these fanatics to dust. Well said, my lord. Friends, follow me. Judy. Yeah. 
Emrick the Blue. Bishop's Corner. with you. the other somewhere. I, it all happened so quickly. Lord Simran, lay down your arms and release the hostages, and you will be shown mercy. I give you my word. Ha! The word of Hatek and Kinslayer. I would sooner trust a dragon. Activate the knight. We shall show the hostages and the same mercy he showed the archbishop. Like you, Sir Emmerich, I am a man of honor. By my hand, you shall receive the Fury's judgment. So it is to be a trial, then. Lord Otto, Essigos, leave us and save the hostages. I will deal with Sir Seminar.
knife does not yield! He took Malay. No, sorry, the priest took Malay upstairs when he saw you killed his friend. Have no fear, child. We shall save your friend. Where is he? Where is he? You have nowhere to run. Release the girl and surrender. Surrender to whom? The blasphemer who throws wide the gates to our enemy? Who breaks bread with him and calls him brother? Ungodly swine! I would sooner die than surrender to you. Is it godly to spill the blood of an innocent child? To burn the homes of your brothers? Tell me, priest, is that godly? Do not speak to me of godliness, heathen! Your father's blood is on your hands, as is hers! Well met, Knight. Mayhap I chose an inopportune moment? Not at all. Pray forgive us this most unworthy reception. We are honored to have you with us, and right glad of your aid. Fortune delivered the child unto me. I had but to receive her. Thank you for saving me. Thou art welcome, child.
never did I think to be indebted to so unexpected a savior. But full glad am I to be so. Friend of Izel, warrior of warriors, I had hoped to meet with thee. I bear a message from my sire. From Freysfelder? Upon returning to our lands, Nidhogg's shade did sing unto his brood, and they for skies unknown did then take wing. This thou must know, for your fates are inextricably bound. What of Estinian? Is he truly lost to us? Such matters are beyond my ken. I but bear my father's words. Take from them what thou wilt. Fare you well, mortals. So it is as they say, then. A great white dragon swooped down from the heavens to rescue an innocent child. A most unexpected turn of events, but not an unwelcome one. The people will not soon forget this day. Yet how will they choose to remember it, Sir Emmerich? And will these events serve to bring man and dragon closer together? or drive a deeper wedge between brothers. After a thousand years, the world these men once knew is changing, and with ungentle swiftness to boot. Though their actions are misguided, their sentiments are only to be expected. You may be sure that others will rally to their cause. I share your desire for a lasting time. peace with the Duvanians, I do. My but I would not see it built on the bones of our countrymen, nor on our own. I see much of Horshifon in you, and I could not bear to mourn the passing of another son. Lord Edmund. Like, had been unofficially adopted to remember you know, that his father is dead, but also his father was a bastard. <laughs> this will be a day, has been a day of surprises, has it not? Is but a, the dolphin could not stay longer. Yes, I think it's fair to say that she, her, the time to departure rather less well than her arrival. Well timed scarcely as as a justice, but one moment later would have been in a moment too late. Let us pray that the Ishgardians who yet harbour doubts would take these events to heart and accept the truth for Emmerich's words. Well it is only it is only me that I inform Tataru that we have occurred. If you have need of me, I shall be at for Tom Miller. Let me to accompany you. Tataru would never forgive me if I left. 
to the Rising Stones without saying goodbye. Come on, Matescos. I wish a word. I mean, this thing could seem quite well to you. A subtle change is perceptible to most. I myself did not notice at first, but on closer inspection, I saw that his etheric flow has been irreparably disrupted. As a result, I strongly suspect that his ability to manipulate either has been compromised. Simply put, Bankry can no longer be it longer be able to wield magic. We would do much to explain why he had chose to remain within the wilderness without seeking us out. Who had been compelled to rely solely on traditional methods of travel, significantly prolonging his journey. And when he learned that a nearby beast tribe had made preparations for the primal, he may well have seen more sensible fate. But this is still little more than speculation. Until I approve, speak and pray, speaking no word of it. Right then. I should be on my way. Prowl me. May have charmed Master Matoya for now, but you may say how long it'll last. Vidofnir should chance to arrive even as the girl fell. Truly, I could not have planned it better myself. Ah, good. We were afraid you might have left. Shield, my lord? Fit for a true knight. An expression of our gratitude to you and yours. Long overdue. Uh, is he rather big for me? <laughs> but there is something else I would discuss ere you part. Something which cannot leave this room. My father will soon step down as head of our house. Sir Emmerich was not the only one to fall under suspicion following the death of the Archbishop. There are some who believe my father complicit in a coup d'etat. Thus he intends to renounce his title to absolve our house of suspicion and secure the support of our peers. Surely there must be another way to convince houses Durandair and Zamile. So I said to him. Alas, he will not budge. Ever since I was a child, I knew that I would one day succeed my father. The thought of it filled me with pride. Yet once I learned the day was at hand, my heart was filled with naught but dread. Our legacy is built upon the lies of our forefathers. In accepting this title, am I not perpetuating this injustice? Why should I become the next Count? You sound just like him. Aye, I suspect that is what Horshefon would have said. To aid those in need. When you look on that shield, I trust you will remember his words. And should I once more find my resolve wavering, I ask that you show me the way. You were a brother to Horshefon. Will you be a brother to me as well?
Come, Emmanuelaine. There's much to be done. For Father, and for Sir Emmerich, and for Ishgard. We share the same blood. Pray excuse us. Those were the days of promises and vows, of tentative first steps into an uncertain future. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Born of good and evil, of light and darkness, and shepherded by our hand. Be it for weal, or be it for woe. Glamour shield, the minion, and a casting coffer. This night proof. The Garoon Oracles. Akfa. Who's long forgotten? Hell of the beginning of the path we have yet to Our fates are ordained long ago in our country. The guardians of deception of the triad. You know what. Everything has, everyone has their own. The mass will attack as soon as all units are in position, the Imperials won't know it. I fear it will be bloody. Rather, it better be. We cannot stay here for Vader. We have other responsibilities. I know full well what my responsibilities are, and I need to fulfill them. Everyone. Essekos, I've been looking all over for you. I received news regarding a Flamen, Hoy, Boulder, and Polina. Wait, really? Has something happened? No, no, it's nothing bad. Quite the opposite, in fact. It seems that once they learned the sign's good name has been restored, they boarded the new sh the next ship bound for Linton and the Minza. They should be arriving any moment now. It's easy to forget how useful the pearls are, isn't it? When they work, when they work at me, and we don't mind being spied on. What? But what wonderful news to think that our reunion is close at hand. A pleasure to see you, Elf. Now, 
Oh, I think her name. Grile. What brings the two of you here? Grile and I have been looking into how we track, track down Lymphilia. And we may just have found the answer. As it goes, when you were fleeing Odar with Lymphilia, you said that Hyden then spoke to her shortly before we, we parted ways, yes? Well, assuming that is true, I see no reason to suspect that is not. It seems reasonable to conclude that Hydaelyn commanded her to remain behind. That is to say, the Mother Crystal directly interceded to guide Menphilia. Admittedly, this is all still quite hypothetical. But I propose that such an intervention, however subtle, must surely leave some residual trace. A lingering disturbance in the ether. A ripple effect. In order to establish the existence of such ripples, of course, we will require suitable data. Fortunately, I know where such data can be found. The battleground where Esgos fell the ultimate weapon. The site of my personal enemy. It was there that Hydaelyn intervened to shield him from the magic eye. The magic eye invoked. Kral and I will infiltrate the castrum and analyze the in. The two of you, alone, I have proven a knack for subterfuge, and I'm confident there will be significant nooks and crannies in which to hide Cryo or his past. Besides, you and Nessagos come along, who will see to Flum's grand homecoming? When you put it like that, very well, I will trust in your plan. I know not whether this data will will yield the means to find Minfilia, but it will at least, at the very least, eliminate another venue of inquiry. Tataru and I will return to the Rising Stones and make preparations for our comrades' return. I impose you to meet them at the Lamentin Docks. And I'll she see the four of you at the Rising Stones. Safe travels. Right, I'm gonna take a quick break because I just need to read the weapon. She's <laughs> owned by the docks, I think. Right? Yep. Frick it is feel. Hello, Eskos. How have you been? Come here. Let me give you a good look at you. Thank the Twelve. One hears the strangest tales in foreign lands. I'm worried about you all day. We would have sent word sooner, but the Braves afforded us no opportunity. When they fell upon us in the market, I, it was all we could do to escape. Tatara found her, her way to you, of course, and we were forced to seek shelter aboard a Hellish vessel. It pained us not being there when we were needed most, but we made the most of it. 
Good name, Wayne. Claudette. Cole. Claudette. Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Studied and trained for Dust Tell Dawn, we did. We would have sent word sooner, but we knew not whom to trust, and with the vast distance. When those dark days were behind us at last, I shall be glad indeed to return home and speak with my daughter. Well, what do you mean she's busy? How could you let this happen? Forgive me, I, I'm sure you're doing everything in your power to find him. The Sankard must be. He watched over her from the first, long before me, and we, he will watch over her to the last. I shall pray for a safe return and busy herself, myself in the meantime. For certainly there is much more to be done. The braves it may have bloodied us, but the path remains, and we shall not be swayed by it. Aye, that's the spirit. To the science and long overdue reunion. Huzzah! Well, there we have it. To the rising stones. Sir, and with that, I believe we are ready to proceed. Let us be about our business then. The next patrol may not be so credulous. <laughs> Why must you be so disappointingly brusque? You're not at all as Minfilia described, you know. I don't think you favoured me with so much as a single compliment since we set out. Tell me, did your time in the wilderness sap you of all your charm? Or are you holding it in reserve for your beloved? This is neither the time nor the place. Well, call me old-fashioned, but when I'm risking life and limb infiltrating an Imperial Castrum, I like to be sure of my comrades' motivations. I see now where Alphino gets it from. Minfilia is dear to me, it is true, but not in the way you think. Fifteen years passed, when she was still but a child, there was an incident at a parade. A gubu broke free of its fetters and ran amok through the streets of Uldar. Had I been more attentive, I could have prevented it. But I was distracted, and her father was killed. I feared she would never recover. But in the years that followed, she showed herself to be more resilient than I had ever imagined. And when she learned of her gift, she did not flinch from the responsibility, but sought to guide others on the path. She touched the hearts of all around her. Mine, Louis Soir, every science. In those dark days following the Calamity, she was our guiding light, our hope for a brighter future. She had so many dreams, and I would give anything to make them come true. My apologies. I can see she means the world to you. I did not mean to pick at old scars. No harm done, I assure you. But fair is fair, my lady. What is Minfilia to you? You mean you don't know? Only my dearest friend. When I finally emerged from my torpor, I learned that Neri a day had passed without her asking after me. She never gave up hope. And neither will I. Then for Minfilia's sake, let us pray that these vestiges of Hydaelyn's intervention will lead us to her.
off to the Rising Stones. Feels good to be home again. I think that everyone is waiting for us just behind those doors. Friends and family with whom we have shared so much. Gods help me, but the older I get, the more sentiments one come. Come, let us look. Keep them with me. Hello, Corey. You may not be a sea wolf, but that's alright. Again, Finny, it fills my heart with joy to see you both hale and healthy. And what of Higiri? He is well, though abroad on a mission at present. It just wasn't the same without you. Welcome back, my lady. Well, we can do is more of that, or that around here. Heartfelt reunions with stalwart champions. Brings a uh, brings a bloody tear to my eye. The secret one sells in a ship hold to secure a safe passage to a faraway land. That is a tale you, we know all too well. When they all they are well rested, I should like to seek a formal introduction. Why wait, my friend? Come, there is no need to be shy. Pray, grant me a moment longer, at least. Though I am happy to oblige you, my legs are rather less accommodating. Ogre! What in the hell? Seven hells drove my little brother to come at Mordona. Why you, brother? You and the science, of course. For a thousand days I trained, and I might grow as strong as you, and I might fight alongside you. Yet, now that you're here, I sense you have surpassed me once more. No, do not tell me you trained with the Hanish, did you not? Eyes do not de deceive, brother. I have studied the trial of the Braves and drank deep of the souls of mine enemies. That time him to be at home, I cannot help but think of those who have yet to return. Once we have settled in, I would join the search. so long since I've seen them all like this. Too long. It was the chaos born of my foolish ambition which forced them to flee. Though they have returned, there are others yet missing. Others whom we cannot forsake. We'll find them, Alfredo. I know we will. Infilia, Ida, Padlimo, every last one. And when they walk through those doors, we'll be here to welcome them home. With me at the head of the queue, of course. I love Tataru. I will forever continue stating that fact. I love Tataru. Thanker and Cryo contacted us a short while ago. It seemed that they for way foray into Castrum Meridi Meridium Meridinium. I can never pronounce that Castrum's name. Uh, bore fruit. They asked that we rendezvous with them and Yestola in Nidleshire, where they will share their findings. Rude though it is to depart without speaking to the guest of honor, I expect she will forgive me if I return with her daughter. Oh my god. 
I think allergies are really up and down. I bet it kept the steam to it. My apologies, I see I'm the last to arrive. So what news have you for us? Well, as you postulated, there is indeed what appears to be the remnants of an unexplained disturbance in the ether at the scene of the Ultima weapon's destruction, a ripple at odds with the perceived pattern. Though faint, the waveforms bore a strong resemblance uh, to those observed through the dis following the destruction of the Isle of Val, when I believe Hydaelyn shielded me with the blessing of light. To confirm our findings, we paid a visit to the Cindy Aqueducts, where we detected the same waveform but orders of magnitude larger, as one would expect from a more recent disturbance. Hi, Tom. There was no other explanation. But there is more. When I studied the site where Yushtola used to flow, it appears that not two, but three beacons have been affected. Yet, unlike Yushtola and Thancred, this was no t there was no trail to follow. Our unknown third party was simply there, and then not there. Now, recall your visions of a vast crystal fle floating in a sea of ether. Though this, this too is but a theory, studies of gifted subjects suggest that when communing with Heidelin, we briefly leave our bodies behind. So let us consider the facts. One, Heidelin interceded. Two, a third beam was caught in Gestola's flow and vanished without a trace. And three, Heidelin may have the capacity to summon the consciousness of gifted individuals to her side. You're implying that, take it, that Heidelin guided Linfidia into the compass of mind magic, and she, she might, that she might summon her body and soul into the ethereal sea. In which case, we must need to continue our search there. For, for, ble for blessing, this means to do so already exists. I speak of the Anti Tower, a shrouding construction conceived to provide scholars with a vantage point over the Aetherial Sea. Though I do not know where its entrance lies, we need only ask its last custodian, the incontrary old crow who, for another blessing, refused to join the Exodus. Master Batoya was the keeper of the Anti Tower? I have no idea. Then our course is clear. We must petition her aid once again. Yeah, I think this is going to be a short stream today. I'm going to actually get up to the point of the anti tower. And then I think uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to try to recover from whatever this is. Just make me very tired and crotchety. My current flying down is now a uh, Midgard Storm.
Oh, what a surprise. Well, what secrets have you come to extract from me this time? Oh, though it pains me to admit it, your words strike close to the mark. We humbly ask that you grant a sentry to the anti-tower, that we might use it to seek a friend who we believe has been transported to the ethereal sea. And who told you I could do such a thing, I wonder? <laughs> Drunk. The tower was abandoned to its magical keepers 15 years ago. They have the run of the place now. If that is no deterrent to you, then by all means. Is that all? I felt sure that you would seek to dissuade us from your hard cause, given your role as custodian. Role? Harley. For him foisted the title. Hmm. During the exodus, every entrance to the anti tower was sealed save one. My role consists of making sure no one will with ill intent sneaks through it. Such is the Fallen's final order to me. Well, I can remove the wards right now. Will you be going or not? We will, Master Matoya. We will do whatever it takes to find Benfilia. We'll see about that. As the ghost can go, take the magic list of rogue too, if you'd like. He's no use to me. The rest of you will stay and work, and, I hear, and I'll hear no argument. Those are my turns. Oh, I would be delighted to accompany you. Lead the way, as the ghost. Ancred, no. Your etheric flow has been compromised. Do not deny it. To venture into an environment so thick with ether, so close to the ethereal sea, would be too... To risk further impairment, or worse. But Minfilia could be in there waiting for us. And you could die, and for what if she is waiting beyond? Eskos will find her. Trust in you. Have faith. Bring her back to us. God. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm. I'm just not feeling well, and I. I think this is more of just allergy headache. I, I recognize this for, from before. Things are just making me so tired and unfocused. So as much as I wait. Before I go, announcements. Um, my work schedule is changing, so I will. Uh, Today and tomorrow will be the last times so that I'll be streaming on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, except for Bears and Dragons. Bears and Dragons are going to continue on Thursday nights uh, at 7.30ish. 7, 7.30ish. Uh, most likely 7.30 because I actually get off work at 7. Uh, this is all central time. Uh, but it means I'll be streaming on the weekends. So Saturdays we'll, we'll be doing another five-hour stream or two, two and a half hour stream. And uh, Sunday, I have uh, Cubs Out Loud to keep watch and subscribe to Cubs Out Loud YouTube channel if you want to watch that live. Uh, and then that's depending on when we're recording the show, the opposite side, I'll be uh, doing some streaming. So that's that's going to be my new schedule. I need to get that uh, updated on the page too. But today's short one mainly because I'm just not feeling well. Uh, if I feel a little bit better uh, later on today, I think I may up to the uh, convenience store and get some allergy medicine. I'm pretty sure this is all like sinus allergy things. Probably with the weather stuff and see. Air quality moderate. Ugh. Off. Anyways, thank you for watching this short, short episode again. Uh, if it improves later, I'll come back. But uh, when we come back, we'll be jumping into the anti-town. <laughs>